For the last 62 years, the Blatnick Bridge helped the Twin Ports stay connected, but it's reaching the end of its lifetime. Most recently, both Minnesota and Wisconsin submitted their second application for federal funding to replace the bridge. Today, U.S. Senator Amy Klobuchar spoke alongside the Duluth Area Chamber of Commerce and the Duluth Building and Construction Trades Council to highlight the need of securing federal funding for a new bridge. Fox 21's Drew Kerner has the story. The Duluth Chamber's three strategic pillars are improvement of business conditions, economic development, and community progress. And for over six decades, this bridge, as we've heard, has not just served as a connecting point, but it's also been a connection of business, economic development, and community progress. Averaging 33,000 vehicles a day and bringing in an estimated $4 billion in goods each year. The Blacknick Bridge is over 60 years old. For the last two years, Senator Amy Klobuchar has stressed the importance of securing federal funding for the bridge's infrastructure. To make all of this work, we need the infrastructure. But we know that we have gotten significant funding from both states, Wisconsin and Minnesota. Duluth has applied for three different kinds of grants from the Department of Transportation. This project costs an estimated $1.8 billion, half of which is committed by both the state of Wisconsin and Minnesota. Once funding is secured, the project would be designed in mind to best suit the Twin Ports. The proposed reconstruction is not just a structural overhaul, it's an investment in our economic future, promised to enhance efficiency, safety, and reliability for our businesses. You know, in Duluth, we pride ourselves on being a transportation hub. We have the airport, we have the port, we have rail, and of course we have a freeway system, and we thrive because of that. It's a major, major priority, and so I think the sooner the better. In Duluth, Drew Kerner, Fox 21 Local News.